welcome to another episode. I always do this. Welcome. Welcome to another episode of Brit Space. Today I am sharing a little bit about my self-care routine. And every time I say that, I kind of laugh because I'm just like, wait, like what am I gonna show? Me taking a shower? Okay. Self-care is one of those terms that I feel like is thrown around so much. Um, you know, you see it on blog posts, you see it on Instagram posts, um, you see it everywhere. It's like self-care, self-care. But what is self-care exactly? I realized when I became a single mom that I wasn't really the best at taking care of myself. I was really great at taking care of everyone else and really good at keeping everything afloat and like in the survival mode, but then I got to the point where I was completely burned out. And I was like, I can't, I can't do this. Like, I can't take care of other people if I'm not taking care of myself. So I've really tried to focus in on what is self-care for me? What does that mean for me? And for me, it's focusing on my mental health, my physical health, my spiritual health, as much as possible. Now obviously those aren't things I can do every single day um, perfectly, so it's definitely a balancing act, but this video is just to show a few ways of how I incorporate those into my life and just an encouragement to you guys to really take time to figure out what self-care is to you because obviously you cannot um, pour from an empty cup. Is that what it is? <laughs> pour from an empty cup. Yes, if, you're, if your cup is empty, there, there's nothing to pour from. You get the point. So let's get into the video. Okay, I know what you're thinking. This is a self-care video. Why, why are we in your kitchen? But first and foremost, one of the ways that I incorporate self-care is organization. Um, I don't know if it's my personality or what, but uh, something I realized recently is disorganization gives me a lot of anxiety. And when I have a lot of anxiety, I automatically feel stressed. And when I feel stressed, I don't take care of myself. It's just a vicious cycle. I'm sure you guys get it. So this shelf back here has been bothering me for weeks. Every time I walk by it, it's disorganized. I, it's like junk there. I just throw things there. And I want to clean it out because it will help my mental state. So first tip in self-care, clean something, organize something. That closet that you have been avoiding take care of it because I'm telling you, the moment you do, your brain will just open up and you will feel like a new person, so. I gotta tell you something I could do. I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. I spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I got a dollar for every time you slam the door, I would be the richest girl. Okay, so another way that I really try to focus on self care daily is filling my body with healthy things. Now, this is not perfection by any means. There's days where I do great, and then there's days where I'm like, I ate nothing but crap. But the weeks that I focus on this and I really put it on my radar, I automatically eat better. In the mornings, a lot of times with the hustle and bustle of getting the kids out the door, I don't always eat breakfast. Um, so my, one of my favorite go-to breakfasts is super quick and super easy is oatmeal. Um, you don't have to buy the pre-packaged quick oatmeal. You can just use old-fashioned oats, pour it in a bowl, add water, microwave it for three minutes, and it's done. Just, you know, ever so much. Uh, maybe a little more. Just fill it to the top of the water and microwave it. And for a little extra added nutrition, I like to add fruit to it. I only have frozen blueberries. I really like blueberries, so I'm just going to add a few frozen blueberries in there. Usually let it cook about halfway through and then I add my, my blueberries and it usually turns the entire thing purple, but it's really good. Really quick and really filling. And honestly, if you're in a rush and you're off to work, you can just microwave this, throw it in a to-go container, and eat it on the way to work. Then I like to add a little bit of chia seeds in there. You know, for extra bit of something or other. You can sweeten your oatmeal with brown sugar, maple syrup. I love using agave, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit of that in there. And then, of course, cinnamon. I always add cinnamon to my oatmeal. Not really the prettiest looking breakfast, but super filling and yummy. And of course, I'm gonna make my coffee. 
and sit down and write a few affirmations for the day, a few goals for the day, and just try to be at peace with myself just for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. gratitude journal comment below if this is something you do but I found it really helpful to just write down some affirmations and gratitude every single day full disclosure I've lived in my house for almost three years and I've only used this bathtub a couple times so I'm trying to be more intentional at using it to relax even if the kids are home and playing and doing something else I go in there and I take a bath and I tell them mommy's taking five minutes off I also absolutely love using this health aid kombucha um, I pour it in a glass and I drink it instead of like champagne or rosé so I'm gonna hop into this bath and drink my kombucha um, <laughs> this is actually kind of funny because it's like kind of the middle of the day but the kids are watching the show and they're you know chill and I'm like you know what I'm gonna go do something for myself so I'm gonna go take a bath um, so yeah we'll see how long this lasts but I'm gonna do one of these face masks as well this is actually one of my favorite ways to just unwind and um, yeah take time for myself also side note I got this really cool bath tray from Amazon super cheap That's so I will try to find a link to that and yeah, it's the real Hey guys, that's all for today. Those are just a few things I do to incorporate self-care. I would absolutely love for you guys to head down to the comments below and let me know any tips and tricks you have on incorporating self-care into your life, things you do to focus on really nourishing your body and your soul and your mind. Also, if you aren't subscribed, be sure to do that. I upload on Mondays and Fridays, so you don't want to miss out. Be sure to subscribe and also hit that notification bell so that you know when my videos are up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will talk to you on the next video. Bye.